Good evening. Welcome to my Time Traveler Twitter complaints. This is kind of a uh, spontaneous video because I'm just pissed off. I uh, was, uh, well, why don't we just get started and uh, we'll get into it. I was uh, denied being able to do an ad on Twitter tonight uh, for my channel. I just wanted to uh, uh, advertise some of the art I was doing as a parody and they didn't accept them and I'm really kind of pissed off about it. So I figured on a uh, YouTube here, I'd complain about Twitter and uh, that's about it. So let's move on. So I'm sure you guys have all seen these cards. They're funny. So I, uh, if you don't know, of course, today the January 6th report has come out and that's not so funny, but me, I want people to be able to understand what's going on in the world. I'm trying to educate. I'm just trying to have a little fun. I'm time traveler trying to prevent horrible end of the world stuff. But for the present moment, I'm just thinking, hey, you know, why don't we uh, do a little advertising, uh, try to get a few more followers, you know, the standard like, share, subscribe kind of shit. And we, uh, of course, did that. And then I got the uh, message you can see right here that this doesn't meet their advertising guidelines. So you know, with uh, Twitter letting everybody battle back on the platform, you might wonder what kind of tweets don't meet their advertising guidelines. So uh, I thought I'd show you. I, I'm so disappointed in Twitter and Elon Musk and the entire thing right now, because if you're going to be a bastion for free speech, parody and fun and humor is a key part of that. Maybe you don't think I'm funny. Maybe you do. Maybe it's in between. I don't care. The point is that I should be allowed to say what I want to say. And uh, I'm not hurting anybody. There's uh, a minimal amount of foul language. Uh, but you can see I wasn't allowed to promote my tweets, so I'm going to promote them here. Let's just start. So let's start with trading card one. So what I decided to do was just go through the 17 points in the January 6th summary and put them in trading card form, uh, as is the style of the time. And uh, so now you can uh, share them and uh, with your friends. I'll put links to all this, of course, in the actual video below. But I thought the best thing to do would be make trading cards out of it. So if you wanted to explain to people maybe why you don't support the man anymore, uh, it would be easier for you. And I thought it would be nice to put them in Trump style. So as you can see, of course, I've got Trump the game down there. I've tried to highlight a combination of Trump's tweets, his failures, his NFTs, along with what he did on January 6th, all together into a simple Trump card JPEG that you could uh, share with your friends, maybe subscribe to my Twitter and YouTube and all that sort of thing. So you can see this is number one. Please feel free to go to the uh, Twitter feed and see them all. I'm not going to read them to you. I just want you to understand that to me, what I did was I took the 17 points that were in the campaign and I took the tweets that he did at the time of those that relate to those points, in my opinion. And I took a humorous picture, uh, an NFT from his uh, auctions. And uh, why not? Here we're, you know, we get a little Trump stakes a little sunglasses, boxing gloves for whatever reason, and uh, a little bit of light tweezing all mixed together in a, a nice package. But it was, again, rejected. This is far too extreme for Elon Musk. His free speech does not allow me to just aggregate uh, Trump's tweets and uh, the conclusions of a committee of our own government and have a little fun with a couple of JPEGs. Jesus Christ, that's how sensitive we are. We talk about, you know, get they talk about snowflake culture and all that, but this really pisses me off that this is fucking too strong. It should not be, oh, pardon the F word, but, you know, it, it, it shouldn't be. This is just funny. I'm sorry to me. This is very funny, uh, but it's educational. Trump University, again, massive failure. We can look at his tweets. You can look at um, what happened here. And you can look at the 17 reasons, you know, why Trump is the only president who's ever been criminally charged in the United States of America, and deservedly so. I'm a conservative. I'm a former Republican. You're looking at the man who got me to leave the party. So I know, call me a rhino. I don't care.
I'm just a guy who had sociopaths in the family, narcissists in the family. So to a largely, I was immune to his charms. No, I get the charms. I tell people the guy is superficially charming all the time. Here's Trump vodka, along with some more uh, corruption. Talk about Jeffrey Clark on this one. It's number four of 17. So basketball. <laughs> I don't know why the basketball. Um, it's just... The NFTs to me. I did love that I, we got a young Kellyanne Conway down there uh, with the Trump vodka launch, which that was a great picture that I popped up in Google. I, I appreciated that one. Um, I, I wish I was uh, smart enough to have that on tap, but it was just lucky. Anyway, but the the NFT joy continues. Well, I'm just going to show you all 17. I won't uh, take too long. Basic cowboy hat. Again, this one to me is just flat lazy. What the hell are you doing? So I thought that worked well with our brief uh, statement right here. Without any evidentiary basis and contrary to state and federal law, Donald Trump unlawfully pressured state officials and legislators to change the results of the election in the states. When we talk about who's trying to steal an election, you're looking at the guy. Uh, Trump University, again, kind of a, a another super uh, standard scam. But number five. This one here to me has my personal favorite picture of Trump, Melania, and Mike Pence because it kind of says it all. We know what uh, Trump wanted Pence to do. And uh, I don't know that if Melania is not into a threesome in that picture, I don't know well, who is, who could ever possibly be. Uh, anyway, I also the foam finger guys, objectively hilarious. Foam fingers are funny. The moon, I guess Space Force is what I was thinking. And I'm thinking like, yeah, well, I mean, obviously the whoever or whatever AI generated these, I'm, I'm again, I'm fairly certain this is the in mid journey AI trained uh, and uh, then uh, taught to generate certain types of image combinations. It's really looks like that to me on a, a MacBook running probably Diffusion B. That's just my guess. Some more Trump University. There's a lot from that. I, I definitely wanted to include his uh, statements about staying peaceful in here as well, because I want to try to be as objective as I can, which is another reason I thought this campaign should be absolutely clear. The only thing I'm doing is quoting Trump and I'm quoting the conclusions of the committee and I'm spicing them up. It's a trading card. Lighten up, Francis. Lighten up, Elon. Pisses me off. Really does. I mean, look at what we're selling here, number eight, which by now I thought I'd include the astronaut. The uh, There's so many of them. We could just keep going with them, but you can go there if you want to look at them and laugh as me. Please don't put your hard-earned money into these, though, grandma, grandpa. You know, if it, uh, it's not going to go up in value. The whole this is a pump and dump scheme in card form. It's really obviously a scam. Um, I'm giving all these to you for free. So take my 17 for free and enjoy them and know that I am not trying to take your money. The only man to lose a casino, uh, lots and lots of money, Donald, John, Trump, moving on to number nine. Let's Christmas guys. Merry Christmas. So let's throw that out there and happy holidays and happy Hanukkah to those of you who celebrate different holidays. Um, by now though, we're talking about some of the more serious shit. By now, he was stealing the election. Uh, again, he went silent and was banned from Twitter the next day. We all know what happened. Um, again, I've tried to make these objectively. I, I, I normally am funny, but this part really pisses me off because I'm looking at Hang Mike Pence. I'm looking at them smashing the windows of the Capitol. Some of them actually thinking that they were in a different building, but that doesn't change the fact that I don't care if you thought you were at the White House and you're storming the Capitol, you still stormed a building, dude. And so they all deserve jail time and lots of it, and they need to keep going up the line. I hope that this is the kind of thing that would freely educate somebody. Um, think about it. Think about why would this be banned? Why is this banned? Why can't this be advertised on Twitter? It's disgusting. Um, now let's move into pheasants and, you know, Sheriff Trump, I, again, I, I, I should have put the cowboy hat one on here. Maybe but I was trying to spice it up and do some different ones. on number 11, 
please, uh, guys, read the report. I'll link it. Read everything. The whole point of this is to put this information in an appealing way to me, maybe not to you. I hope I hope it's appealing to you. Number 12. Oh, my Lord. I mean, when you look at them smashing the buildings, when you look at what's happening, <clears throat> how can that not bother you? If you're an American, I don't care. Democrat, Republican, Independent, you should be pissed, dude. You should be mad at watching them smash up your capital for lies. And it's just for lies. The simplest thing you have to remember about this entire thing is Trump just couldn't accept defeat. It's that simple. Thin skin, poorly able to accept an obvious loss. Everybody told him, but he thought he could keep the grift going. And now I think maybe he has talked himself into it. So when I talk about in the future him you know, dropping out next year, it's because he will, because He's going to need a way to avoid jail, and he'll use diminished capacity, dementia, what have you, by this time next year to exit the stage with the whatever sad kind of pity dignity Donald Trump can manage. But it doesn't make it right, and it doesn't make Mike Pence a hero simply because he did the right thing one time. He needs to continue on. If he wants to be president, he has to condemn Trump. Same with DeSantis. If they want my vote, they have to condemn Trump. It bothers me immensely that construction worker Trump here continues to even have a political life. He is the only president who obviously committed insurrection. Look at his taxes. He's a fake. He's a phony. Anybody can see that. I ask you to do your own research and I ask you to ask yourself well, if Twitter won't even air this, what are the next steps in our culture? It, it bothers me so much. God, it bothers me. I, I mean, I'm spending $50 of money to a fucking billionaire, Elon, and you won't take my $50 for this? This is definitely worth accepting. I, I'm really annoyed. I mean, obviously, guys, go check it out. The cards are still up. I'm not saying he took them down or anything like that. But to not accept my advertising, to not let me advertise my channel uh, with my humor, sense of humor and, and something that I think is actually worthy of the public record, that's bothersome. It bothers fucking me. And I hope it bothers you. So thank you so much for watching. We'll go to uh, end here with number 17. I kind of did a, a smorgasbord at the end there. At the bottom, you got the the fake uh, Hollywood Trump. You got like crazy White House and space Trump. You got Mar-a-Lago. I think that's Mar-a-Lago back room or maybe it's the top of Trump Tower truck and then him on the, uh, you know, garbage space up there in Mount Rushmore. Oh, yeah. And, you know, look at the size of those hands. Boy, it's impressive. All right. So censorship is bad. You shouldn't censor people, especially this is all just shit that's publicly available. I don't know what it is about this that makes it so forbidden. You tell me, guys, please. I, I really appreciate comments on this one. Like, share, subscribe, share the cards, though. That'd be the greatest thing you can do for me is just get them out as wide as you can just to show people you can't suppress this kind of shit. Thank you so much for listening and uh, good night. God bless. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Bye.